What's going on? Oh, it's a transition room. Which means it's a little bit safer than usual. Right, I'm very scared I'm going to lose all my minions. <laughs> and my health. Oh dear, I just see my health. Um, health pit, please. I would even satisfy it. Oh, dear, spoke. I'm in here. And tell that greedy dwarf king that he can't have his wedding presents back. If I'm not going to have a wedding, I at least want presents. Ugh, <sighs> that's velvet. Oh, I see. I see what you mean, Vel uh, velvet. I see what you mean, Rose. Definitely doesn't seem to have a good bone in her body. Right, okay. Alright then, this looks like the final battleground. The rule of three. The wizard taught me how to seek my freedom. I won't let you take it, you uncouth lout. Never! <laughs> uncouth lout. Right. Health is low. Which means I'm going to focus on killing using minions to kill. Right, okay, he's teleporting over there, it's okay then. The wizard is watching. He is always watching. Who else always watches? Come back. Right, he's doing a power attack. Go! No, not yet. Teleported. Where's he jumped to? There he is. Go after him. There are no pleasures greater than those of the flesh. I gotta give a few more. Kill him. I think I did it. You have been defeated. So sleep tight, William. Good. So good night, William. Sleep tight. Oops. You chose all. Wow, that was fun. Right, my health is very low. And. As you can clearly see now, my health is extremely low. Um, let's, let's pick up this treasure just to make sure. Okay, that's that done. Right! There you go, that's, that's the lustful Prince Oberon. Nope, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking about the last thing we did. There we go, that's the lustful William destroyed. And I feel happy now. The world is a better place without him in it. Right, yeah. So I didn't mention I was going to tell I was trying to tell myself not to forget, but I still did. I was going to tell myself not to forget to tell everybody what their d deadly sin is. Um, I did tell you what Melvin's was, which was greed. Was it greed or was it glutton? Glutton. It was gluttony. And then, of course, there was Prince Oberon. Prince Oberon. No, I'm thinking of Game of Thrones. There was Oberon, the elf. His evil sin was sloth, not laziness. Laziness is something else, it was sloth. And then, oh, is sloth, sloth and laziness the same thing in this case? I don't know. I but I don't know, I don't know it's sloth. And then his one that we just killed is obviously lust. Right. Anyway, you did notice that there was a minion that picked up a boss drop, as I'm referring them to now. Who are you, sir? You are a nameless minion. Who are you, sir? You are a nameless minion. Who are you, sir? You are a nameless minion. Coming back. You are a nameless minion. Coming back. I think. I don't know who's who. Recruit. You, I think, are the one. Are you the one? You are the one. You can go up the top of the stairs and, sir. I'll deal with you in a second. Here I am. You are little Tommy. You go next to him. Here I am. There we go. I thought that was going to happen. And then you, mademoiselle, can go to the top. Right, so there we go. So these are our three named minions so far. We have Priestess Paprika at the side. We have little Tommy at the top there. And this little guy, he's got a paladin staff, so he's a bit like a tank. Or at least someone that can sort of... He, he deals in pole, pole arms. And I shall call him Kappa. Because he's like a sand warrior sort of thing. With like a 
Got like a staff, yeah. And of course, it's, it's foreshadowing of what's to come, I shall say. That's why he's a sand warrior. Anyway, there you go. Three teams. Minions. I thought I'd come like Caesar. Minions. Friends. Minions. Narl. Mistress. Right here are your commanding officers. Listen to them. They are wise enough to listen. You anyway, sorry. Oh. Apologise. Had to do that. Let's get this back and free Velvets, and then I don't know what, what can happen. Maybe Rose will know what to do. Maybe she can live with us at the tower as well. I'm guessing Rose will like her family. Oh, then again, they don't talk, they said. All right. I don't know what will happen. It's up to Rose to decide. Our beloved mistress. Right, Red, would you like to hurry it up? You're a little bit slow, my son. Right, there we go. Oh, I see, it's the other half of his staff. That's pretty cool. And then, obviously, Copper's got his other half. Impressive. Right, okay, Velvet, we're coming in. We're a friend of Rose. Here we go. Right then. Good morning. Well, hello, dark stranger. The rumours do not do you justice. You brought me a gift. Some little pixies. You really shouldn't have. Next time, make it something shiny and expensive. Now, let me thank you properly. She's obviously fine. She can find her own way out. Oh, she's quite the tasty treat, sire. Oh! Ugh! Narl, go to your corner. I'm going down there to sort this out. Sire, the tower can only accommodate one mistress, unfortunately. Come to play the concerned big sister. Come to spoil my fun, have you? And just as my rescuer and I were about to become better... <laughs> ...acquainted. Sir William summoned an oversex demon, started a citywide plague, and now he's dead. I can see why you might be emotional. But stay out of my business! Him? Oh, he was overcompensating. Believe me. I was about to walk out on him when he locked me up in here. And now you've come along, my black knight. Mm. Short turn, Rose. Okay, fine. You should know, sire, that while you were out, I found a way to strengthen your brown and blue minions. Common bribery, Rose. I thought that was beneath you. <laughs> you know, I'd increase the abilities of his red and green pixies. And I could do so much more for you, darling. Especially if you take this bed back with me. Don't listen to her. Never listen to her. That's people's first mistake. Turn this door wheel and let's go! Bear with me, Rose. The decision is obvious to me. Do you choose someone that is, you know, rather, f you know? You're not going to let a poor girl just lie here, are you? Seem pretty comfortable, so I might as well. Yeah, what's the word I'm trying to find? You do, you do choose a girl that seems a little bit... What's the word? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find a polite way to say it. A little bit, Can't um... Can't you see through her, sire? Can't you see through her, sire? Rose, me and you have history, it's obvious. But, uh, yeah, she's a little bit... I don't know how to put it politely. She looks like she gets around a little bit, so... We'll stick with good old Mistress I don't Rose. want to leave without this bed. It's so comfy and inviting. I really don't think there's a choice here. There's not. I'm sticking with my business partner. Come on then, Rose. Let's leave this place. Can't you see through her, sire? I can. The door is opening. I really don't think there's a choice here. You'll be sorry. She'll nag you to death. I appreciate your loyalty, sire. Pay no attention to her. She's all talk. I made the right decision. She only nags because she loves me really. Right, I'm not recording. I hope I am. <laughs> oh dear, I'm a bit scared right now. No, I'm recording, that's good. 
There we are. We have now fully instated Rose as the proper mistress. She now has all the bragging rights, so to speak. We're going back to the tower, I think. I think it's over where we're going. Mistress Rose has already upgraded your brown, sire. You can upgrade your blues in your private quarters. Mm. Come on, my lovelies. Pay attention or Auntie Rose will have to hurt you. My sister has some issues, sire. Father was never there and mother spoilt her. Her own puppy, her own pony... No sheepy! Guess who had to clean up the blood? Speaking of cleaning, this place could do with a woman's touch. You should really get it looking a bit more homely. Oh, I made the right choice. Besides, the blues and the browns are the best. Leader of the Minion Army! Yes. And Berger no sheepies? Yes. Do you say anything, Mistress Rose? No? Okay. Loyal right! Lord. I am a loyal lord. Now, what's the plan? Let's go upstairs. We shall go up, purchase the upgrades for the blues and everything, and then we can maybe go downstairs and upgrade some equipment? We don't have many minions. We could get some minions. We could do some fighting in the arena. Might help. Okay, let's look at the gold. It's not quite overflowing as much as I would like. Anyway, into the dark study. We'll spend some uh, well-earned gold. Here we go. Customise. Whoa, look at this. We've got loads of stuff and I'm happy about it. Although, my money's going to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all this stuff. It's so amazing. I love I love customization. Sorry. I'm just going to say, I've seen the time. Ten minutes left, or nearly about eight minutes left. I'm maybe spending it all in this tower. I am very sorry if that's not what you like. But, um... Is it worth changing that? I think we'll keep the Overlord banner for now. Alright then, so what we got, we've got a botanical garden. It's very fancy. We've got the girl statues. Oh, I've never seen this before. The rose vases. Vases, vase, vase. Blue minion equipment. Greater crown top. Grand fire bowl. White marble walkway. Greater imperial throne. Golden guardian statues. And gold chimera statues. Oh, it's lovely. It's rather lovely, isn't it? Right, let's go for the botanical garden. I've never had that before. That's very sweet of you, sire. I know you like to deal in botany. 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 Right, okay. And girls statues. I've never had these before, so we'll get, get some of these. Glad to see you think about your mistress's needs. Cause I do. Cause I do. Rose vases. Vases. That will brighten the place up. Indeed it will. Right, blooming equipment is not important. Greater crown top is, but I think we're going to go downstairs first. So if we do the Greater Imperial Throne... Now don't go spending all your money, Lord. But I needed a throne. White marble walkway. I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> you got one now! And then we'll go with these ones here as well. So, oh, five thousand. I thought we had a lot more than that. Fire. So we've got two, three and a half, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh well, we can get everything inside. That's all right. Then I like that. It's golden chimera statues. Unless my maths was wrong. I've always wanted one of those. Very well. And then the golden guardian statues. I've always wanted one of those. A greater or grand fireball. I think you have a flair for this. Oh, I do. Trust me, I do. Right, and then we've got not enough for anything else, so that's it for now. Mistress Rose requests that you join her in your private quarters, sire. Does she have a, any business for me to attend to? Right, okay, well, we're coming. Tell her we're on our way. I have to look at some of these areas. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at the gold. It's a little bag of gold. We'll soon make it. We've got a we've got a business empire. We've got a lovely business partner now as well. So, partner, partner. But look at that. It's a lovely little rose, vase. Right. I've never seen this before. I've never actually. I've never actually chosen rose. 
you got the statue there as well. Oh, look at the garden! Oh, it's lovely in here, isn't it? Ah, and I see what I see what someone was talking about. Poison pods. This botany is just trying to create a, you know, some sort of poison for us to use. Perhaps. Right. Okay, Mistress Rose. Did you wish to see me? Master. Sire, I think the time has come to tell you about the finer points of running an evil domain. Let me see. Stop pushing. I have diagrams, charts, and a pot of tea on. Do come in. Pot of tea? I'm sold. Now you take the... Nice. And some of... And you squeeze. Total annihilation. Get something sharp. Right in the... Pencil manoeuvre! And that's how you do it, sire. Good luck. Very well. That was uh, enlightening. Right. Let's head downstairs then. Feel a wee bit shaky. So does the tower, actually, now I think about it. Right, let's get downstairs. We will go and deal with... I don't know what we're doing next. We'll have a look at the stuff in this throne room. And then we can... New God of the Mumblers! Yes. Forger of Durium. Hello, Mistress Rose. Are you okay Warrior down here? Of the watery How do you do? Rude Awakener. Rude Awakener. What's that? Oh yeah, sober, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look, at what the gold Chimera Rain statues. The and trees. Golden, golden guardian statues. The Ruler marble walkway. The army. Oh, I do like it. Yeah. Right, so I don't go below fifty for my parrots. So, d -d 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 -d. I don't know what to do. We'll go downstairs and we'll check out what minions we actually need. Because uh, after that I'll probably might do some uh, dungeoning, dungeoning to uh, actually get, you know, some uh, some stuff. Such as life force from a dungeon. That's it. So what we've got? We've got Jurium Armor. We've got Defense, Max Mana, and Mana. We don't really bother about Max Health. We're not really bother about Regeneration. We're very, very important about. So what's that one? That's Blues. No, that's red, Greens. A little forging is restful for the mind, sire. Helps clear your head for the evil deeds ahead. <laughs> yes. If we do a complete split of uh, Defense and reg Regeneration, and then Jurium actually got Damage, which is important. Fire Damage, which is quite important. Critical Hit is good, but Knockback is terrible. So we don't need Blues at all. So we could just put the blues on the Durian helmet. Yes, so we'll do that. So what we've got? We've got 14 we can put on there. Won't do much, but just get rid of them now. And then we'll, what we'll do is we'll go down to the dungeon and show you a bit of the beetles. And then next time we should be able to upgrade it a little bit more. A little forging is restful for the mind, sire. Helps clear your head for the evil deeds ahead. <laughs> and I'm dying for the toilet. Very much so. Right, okay, so Durium Armour. We have a Durium Axe first. Or oh, have we got any regeneration? I've only got six greens, which is a shame. So put them on that. Because we need all the regeneration we can get so far. Oh, I'm dying for the loo. Hurry up, minions. In fact, we might not show off the beetles. Because time's getting on and I really need a wee. The Overlord's got a pee. Alright, and what else have we got? We've got the Durium Armour, we'll do the rest on. So, the smelter needs feeding, Master! Mm. Right, so we need 189 of each. So obviously we can only do 45 on this one. Uh, we can do 23, no, 24 on this one. Right, I better make a note of this actually as well. And then how many reds? None of reds. Right, so I'll just quickly make a note of this on the weapon pole. I'll put it. I'll put it that for now. Wake up. This forging to be so done. browns we have forty-five. Reds we have twenty-four. Okay, and we'll do an even even split. So forge. There we go. 
Minions are going to sacrifice themselves. Because of course they are willing to sacrifice themselves for us. We are the Overlord after all. But a little trick someone asked. How come the reds can burn in the lava? And we were wondering maybe they can choose when to let themselves die by the fire. Or maybe the lava is just too powerful for them to withstand. I don't know. But let's have a quick look at the armour in your armoury. Armory, where you can store your armor and weapons. Here we go. We've got Chief it. Wake up! There's forging to be done. We've got four defense, two mana. Oh, why have I got mana on there? Where's my weapons? Oh, I think I've got. I think I was meant to put them on there. The reds. Oh well. It's not too bad. Okay then. That's us done for the week. See you next week.